Hello YouTube and welcome back to some Full Metal Alchemist. We have officially reached our 40s everybody and in this episode today hopefully we are going to see a bit more about what's going on at Fort Briggs and I think it'd be really interesting to see what happens with Al after the ending to our last episode. Let's see if he tells anybody. Let's do it though, please enjoy episode 40, let's go. General Armstrong something to do with general raven's disappearance oh well i guess yeah they do have that well anyway the only thing we have to worry about is holding down this fort hold the fort well i'm sure the tigers in central will make sure she's taken care of <gasps> okay oh gosh so armstrong is actually going to central or is in central <gasps> general armstrong <laughs> uh, i want to know the history between Bring these two here today general Fuhrer Bradley summoned me mm. for an extended stay, I imagine. Is that so? Maybe I could offer some flowers instead. <laughs> there are many fine florists here Do in Do they Central. have a history, everybody? I'm so curious. He's going to be immediately suspicious that she's here. You may enter. Considering the so little exchanges. Hmm. How is this going to go down? We need to talk about General Raven's recent disappearance. Pointing fingers straight away. <laughs> Me, Your Excellency, but I simply don't understand how you can employ someone as careless and incompetent as General Raven. Oh, okay. Can't be good to have someone so talkative on your senior staff. Oh, okay. Immortality. The history of this country. Your Excellency's identity. He told me all sorts of things without any prompting. I mean, that is true. You'll be needing someone to fill that fool's vacant seat. Oh, <gasps> wait, is she? Is this like the bluff into it? I like the way you play. Oh. Very well. You can have General Raven's seat. My soldiers are extremely strong and well-trained, sir. I guarantee they will serve you well, Your Excellency. Oh no, he's going to kill them. I'm sure they will. I appreciate the sacrifice. The sacrifice. Oh god, he looks so heckin' evil. What can you do in that situation? But still, there's one thing they don't know. Although our leader might be gone. They are strong as heck. As one. They are so loyal to each other that That's the fourth Briggs way. They're not gonna be easy. The bears will fight the tigers. Okay. I'm here for um homunculus, the dwarf in the flask. Is this spot taken? No. Oh, we I've been staying busy too, mm. especially with everything I've had to learn. Pure Bradley works very efficiently though, so that helps. The fact that she's going to be as dejected as she is should hopefully be a red flag for Roy. And she's still traumatized. My former classmates Lucy and Ian are stationed up there. They like to keep me informed. Oh. I hope Major Miles and Buccaneer don't show us up like they have in the past. Okay. Okay. And York, Ida, and Sugar all spoke to her too. Havoc. Oscar. Homon. Homon. Homunculi. You need once more. And then Sterling. Selene Bradley is a homunculus. Wow. That's very good. If they've managed to do that. Without being at all detected. Bam, bam, bam. What the world is about to happen here in Central? Gosh, the fact that they were able to do that just on the fly is really good. I love that they had a system. Hey, you there. <gasps> oh no! It's alright. Ooh. Young father. Can't you at least bring yourself to act a little surprised or something? Looks just like Ed. What do I get for acting surprised? Oh, it's her. Wait, Hohenheim? What's your name? I'm number 23. Uh. Not your number. I want you to tell me your real name. Oh, this is important, everybody. Why is there a homunculi in a jar? How could I possibly have been born from someone as stupid as you? Oh. Born from him. Guess so. He said he was going to use it for an experiment. He? Who's he? Number 23 isn't going to cut him. I think I'll give you a name of your own. Owenheim? Maybe we shouldn't put too many syllables. <laughs> wow. Hey, you are plenty smart. Well, how about Von? Von Hohenheim. Von Hohenheim. It's a nice name. You don't know how to read and write, do you? 
I don't need to read and write to do my work. Interesting. So Van was a slave, but for who? Do you even want freedom? This is this is origin story. Where are we? Where are we? Ishval? Tell you what, Von Hohenheim, you can call me the dwarf in the flask, homunculus. The dwarf in the flask. Episode name. <laughs> Oi, history, everyone. What's this? And who is this guy? Are made from one, and in the end, all things return to one. Uh huh. You are now an alchemist, Hohenheim. Well done, child. Okay. My skill is nothing near yours, master. Who is this guy? <laughs> okay. Dwarf in the jar is plotting. I live as well as I do now because of the knowledge you gave me. Mm -hmm. And I've also earned the master's respect. Mm -hmm. I'll even be able to get married and have a family. Unless you form communities and breed, your species can't continue to exist. Don't call it breeding. Hohenheim looks so sweet here, but he's obviously being tricked. What is it that makes you happy? Messing with people. I think I'd be happy if I could just leave this flask. Full metal alchemist. Oh. Full metal the alchemist. little one inside the flask. Who? How? Mortality. Why would someone who already has so much power and prosperity need such a thing? Oh, the master wanted it. Who wouldn't dare to destroy such an important source of knowledge? Wait, does the, the flask... That's enough chatter. Oh, Xerxes. Tell me, is it possible or is it... Oh. Growing impatient in your old age? Xerxes is where there was a disaster and then two, okay. like, figures went off. And one of them must have been Father, and one of them must have been Hohenheim. Irrigation canals. Maybe? The kings ordered them to be dug all throughout the country. Irrigation? Why? It's a big circle, I guess. Remember, there must be no survivors! Okay. And this is where people were sacrificed. Did we recognize the King of Xerxes? Quickly! Time the crest of blood while there's still time. Does he come back? Is he actually father? Oh, yeah. What an awful tragedy. Yeah. Real tragic. Real tragic. Could you be less believable? For goodness sake. Okay, this is exactly what we're trying to recreate in current times, everyone. Or prevent them from happening, more specifically. At long last, your transmutation oh, wow. circle is complete. Wow, it took a long time. Hohenheim has aged here. This is it. Wait, Everything is but ready. does it apply to Hohenheim rather than the king? It must be, right? Does it choose him? The king will achieve immortality. I wouldn't be so happy about it. The dwarf here has obviously done something for his own benefit. Well, where have we seen those arms recently? <laughs> death? More death? You said if we were in the center of the circle, we wouldn't be armed. Interesting. Huh? What the? What's going that on was a here? late reaction, Hohenheim. The true center of the transmutation circle is right here where you're standing. Oh, uh, he was tricked into it. You and I are at the center of everything. Oh. Wait, he was tricked into it? That makes him, like, way more likable. Way more likable. Oh, my God. those people all those people is this where they like split into father and hohenheim as well and where did this dwarf come from you know it said he came from his bloods but <sighs> oh hey majesty I wouldn't worry about that. <laughs> They're all dead, Dave. Master, are you? Also dead. Gosh, imagine emerging from this and no matter what direction you go in, everyone, out there. everybody is dead. The quiet would be... Somebody. 
Nobody. I mean, there's you. It's no you. Oh. Majesty! Are you all right? Tell me. Your body. Using your blood, I created a receptacle for myself. I can walk on my own two legs. It's the dwarf. The original homunculi. Thank you for your blood. I've given you a name. And I've given you knowledge. And now... Immortality. I'm immortal. Focus your attention within yourself, Hohenheim. That's very generous, really. <laughs> you hear them, don't you? The voices of all the people in this country who were offered in exchange. Wow. Wow. I appreciate your cooperation, Hohenheim. Yeah, this feels like the kind of thing that uh, would would come back to bite you, you know? Father being immortal and then creating another immortal. I knew it. Oh my gosh, well that's a an encounter. I get the chance to meet Edna. What is Izumi doing? And I finally get to meet the one who taught my son. Uh-huh. Izumi, are you alright? Let me get your medicine. <laughs> May I have a look at her? Give her a medicine first. This happens. Can he? No, you are not. Can he right. alchemy her Mr. back? Mr. Sig, find us a car quickly. Wait, what's happening? What? Whoa, 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 whoa! What's happening with her? My insides were taken. I was trying to bring my child back to life. Mm -hmm. See. How can he? Can he actually see here? Oh. What? <laughs> Wait, I was just saying he was a nice guy. <gasps> What's he done? I'm all right. He shoved his hand into you. But my breathing, it's oh, easy. Okay, okay, okay. Was it helpful? There's no wound. That's impossible. He knows a lot about alchemy, huh? I did rearrange your entrails somewhat to improve the flow of blood. Suzumi, you cannot give in to your fate just Wow. Yet. You're the boy's father. But who... Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I am a philosopher's stone. In the form of a man. That's what I am. Is that so? I don't know what to make of that, everybody. Sir Stone. The Celestial Stone. Hey, Ed. Dr. Marco had was a semi liquid and it can also be a person. Say it has incredible power. I would have expected it to be a little bigger than that. It's not. I've never seen one that's much bigger than a small pebble. But Hohenheim's a whole person. Create a philosopher's stone that big, you'd have to kill thousands of people. Oh, okay. We have learned so much about Barbara and Hohenheim in this episode, and the the fact that Hohenheim is being described as a philosopher's stone would also explain his power and the ability that he just used on Izumi there to kind of rearrange her organs. We'll have to wait until next time for Fort Briggs and Winry and the rest of the story, so I'll hopefully catch you then.